Hey everyone, hope you had a good weekend, hope if you watched the Super Bowl you weren't disappointed, I didn't really care because my team wasn't playing so I'm bitter, <laughs> but um, I wanted to talk about this, well before I get into this, look at this fucking thing, I've been talking about this stock for a few days right now, and look at this fucking run up ahead, like I bought... Like, I've been talking about GLBS, right? Like, I bought this, I want to say, right about here, right? At uh, January, I think it was like the 23rd, 2023. And I bought it, and it went up, and I should have sold it, right? I should have sold it, but then it came down. But I had to wait because I didn't want to sell it on the same day. And then it came down, and then it bounced. Didn't quite make it up, and then it came down, 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 down. Now look at this fucking thing. What is that? Seven, seven fifty. And then it skyrocketed up to 10, 10 in one day. Now, unfortunately, like, I was hella busy during the day to catch this. So I couldn't sell it to finally get out. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping tomorrow it'll still be up so I can sell it. Finally dump this shit and move on. <laughs> um, but anyways. Anyways. that's And that's buy and hold right there, just FYI. That's that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going to be, like, touching on in this video. But that's, that's what sticking with the stock can uh uh can get you you know you gotta you gotta hold out through the the good and the bad but um i wanted to talk more about the kind of the philosophy mindset of uh sorry bleh, philosophy mindset of um buying what you know um and a good example back in the day i was heavy heavy into disney right i bought disney um uh, because i liked all the marvel movies I liked the Star Wars movies. I liked the theme parks. You know, I liked uh, I liked that it uh, owns ESPN. You know, there's a lot with this business that I liked. You know, and that's and that's what kept me in it for the long term. Usually, when people buy long, you know, they'll get advice from like other people and they hear stuff, and that's cool. But like when you buy off someone else's advice, and you don't like justify it in your mind why you're buying it, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna uh, want to keep it whenever it goes down like for instance like when i bought disney i want to say or well, actually no i might have it on here um so november 5th all right those are what's that what sales are those i don't know anyway i don't think it has my my pr prior sales on here or buys and sells but anyway like i bought it like it was under 100 bucks right and then it came up um to like 116 117 right here and I sold a little bit before it because there was a run up, and then when it came down again, I bought it. And around the time this this is when Bob Iger, the uh, CEO, was saying uh, ESPN's not gonna be making its numbers or whatever, so the company spiked down. And actually, that dude, that dude's got a uh, a uh, clout in the fucking stock market because a whole bunch of stocks fell down with it, mostly uh, uh, like television type stocks like Comcast, you know, uh, Time Warner, like all like Directv, all like the network stocks. Because they were talking about uh, cable subscribers going down. A subscription is basically saying not not enough people are watching ESPN. You know, they're they're going to their phones and stuff like that, which is true. But um, so I saw that as a buying opportunity. You know, because I still love the company, and when it went down, I dipped, and then it ran up, and then whenever whenever it ran up some more, like I would I would sell off shares. You know, and I would buy more when it dipped and uh, sell off when it was high. You know, and that's just kind of like the whole process. You know, just got to keep. Adding to your position when it's low, and then, and then taking profits when it's high. But uh, but understanding the business and what it does, you know, is a huge factor. Like Star Wars, uh, the first one that they made after, the, and they bought Lucas Films. Disney bought Lucas Films for like four billion, right? And their first movie that they made, which is the the not not Rogue One, but the one that came out before that. I'm already blanking on the name, but um, A New Hope. There you go. Star Wars: A New Hope. Uh, made two billion in like two months, so they already profit. They already made back half the money they spent on the fucking, on the studio on all the rights. You know, like the studio rights and all of that. They already made half of that with the first movie. You know, and I think they want to say they want to do like six total, like three, uh, continuing the story, and then three like side stories. Like Rogue One, Rogue One was one of the side stories, and it, and it did pretty well. So like that was another one, but like. You know, understanding what you know, like when all the Avengers movie came, Avengers movies came out, you know, I was watching the numbers, you know, like 
watching them get up to like half a billion up to a billion like you know just all the money that they were making you know it was it was it's it was a good time to buy the stock for sure but like i enjoyed what it was i i liked what the company's doing and i enjoyed um the the content that they provided and that's why i will maybe bought the stock another stock is facebook now facebook has close to two billion um oh god two billion accounts um and they monetize those accounts so that's why you see uh advertisements on them but that's two that's that's companies basically paying to get their product on over almost two billion people's uh, uh web pages you know and that's that's a great way to monetize uh, a company but um I liked that, but I also liked, you know, Insta or Instagram because they, uh, like when Zuckerberg bought Instagram, like everyone was talking shit, like, you know, it's not going to make money, you know, you're stupid, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now, like, they have close to like a billion users and now it's making hella money. So he got the last laugh. And then they criticized, the, criticized them again when he bought a WhatsApp. Um, and same thing, you know, like they talk shit and then like later on, like it, it turned out to get like maybe hella popular and people using it and it made a lot of money. So he got the last laugh. So like one thing with like adding those um, features is nice, but also, uh, him as a CEO, like, you know, he makes good decisions for the most part. And, uh, like that's why, I, that's why I liked investing in this company. And, you know, like here's a, here's a good uh a point right here like these 115 dips like there's 115 like right here here and here these three opportunities were great buying opportunities i bought the first one um and then later on like i, I just kind of held the first one i was just waiting and then it went up later and i sold it and then like there was a like a little flash crash i want to say in january of 2016 something like that uh, and that was like another point where I bought in because everyone was like freaking out and getting out. So like I bought in because I was like, Psh, like, and I'll, I'll, I love this company. I know it's going places, so I'm gonna buy it when everyone else is getting out of it. You know, I think it was like uh, J P Morgan, like back in the day. You know, uh, I forget who told him. It was it was like a documentary on him. But um, there's this expression, you know, when there's buy when there's blood on the streets uh basically like when everyone's freaking out it's like a recession it's a crash or whatever when everyone's jumping on the stock market that's when you want to be jumping in because everything's on sale like it's black friday you know everything's cheap and that's that's when you want to just keep adding and adding and adding to your position and then let that run up over time you know because you're playing the long game you're not the day-to-day -day trading you're buying and holding and you know that's kind of how i i was able to pay off uh, a lot of my debt like i said like in other videos i had like 15 grand in debt you know and i made like a few thousand um in one year trading and and i've never really traded before you know so i did i did decent you know like oh i'm not trying to pretend like i like i paid it all off with trading because i was just so fucking good at it but like you know I, I went to work i worked hard and the extra money i had i invested and in, i invested hard you know I, I fucking made my money work for me like i it was my job to go out there and make money and then I gave my money a job to make me more money, you know, like, so I had two jobs. I was going to my day job, you know, like eight to four. And then during the day, at night, you know, whatever, during, during market hours, you know, I was trading stocks. I was buying and selling, you know. So, that, like, that whole, that whole mindset, like, having a goal for one helps. But, you know, having reasons to buy the certain stocks that you're interested in does help, you know, like, it, it gives you reason to want to hold it for the long run and also want to take advantage of other people's ignorance when they're when they're fleeing the stock because they're scared of something's going to happen but since you like the company you know what it's about you know the numbers you know where the markets or what markets it's in you know you know the products and you know this this is just temporary so you buy in more so i, I was just trying to like highlight that for you all too because i know because i know not everyone's like me that trades penny stocks you know like penny stocks is just fun because it's just buying and selling buying and selling like you know i can do it constantly buying and hold is like kind of hard like you know it takes time you know it takes discipline i ain't gonna lie like there's there's times where i just get i get bored you know and like i just want to i just want to buy something you know and, and that's not good like I, I did another video like that or I talked about I bought and sold a stock on the same day just because I wanted to trade. You know, I just felt like I had to make a trade. And that's not always the best thing to do. You, you, 
like I like in that instance I did fine, but it could have been like that I lost money. Then I just would have been slapping myself in the face because it was stupid that I did it and it was stupid that I lost money. But um, it's just it's just depending on like how how you're thinking about it. Watching this video, do you buy and hold? Do you swing trade? Do you day trade? Like whatever. But this this video specifically is just like talking about like buying and holding and just like understanding what you're buying. You know, having interest in it. There's nothing wrong with liking the company you're buying. You know what I mean? Like if like if you're a guy and you're into sports, you buy Disney because it, it has ESPN. You know what I mean? You know you're all about ESPN. You know that's fine. You know like there's nothing wrong with that. They have other aspects of their business, but like if there's one thing that really gets you into it and you enjoy it, that's good. You know, and if if you're if you're a girl and you're into like clothing companies or whatever, and you like new new uh, department stores, you know you like the the market uh spreading you like you know getting into like foreign markets and other countries you know you like that aspect of it you like new lines new new fall wear new spring wear whatever like you know there's there's something keeping you interested in it you know that just keeps coming out keeps coming out keeps coming out you know that you're you're vested in it so <clears throat> i kind of just wanted to throw that out there i know this isn't like a normal video normally i do like a little more what's going on in the market but i wanted to I don't want to just give you that information. I want to give like as much information and different aspects to kind of to get you all to think. And of course, you know, always like go to go to other videos and like watch them, other channels, other, you know, news, news outlets, whatever. And, you know, just taking as much as you can, you know, to improve yourself, because that's that's ultimately what's going to make you the best trader possible. It's not it's not spending a few minutes watching one of my videos. It's the hours of time that you put in daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you know, towards becoming a better trader that's going to make you successful. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, leave them, leave them uh, for me. I'll do my best to answer them. If you like my content, always uh, help me out. Click like and subscribe. Um, I think I just passed like 400 subscribers. So this thing's moving quick. So I'm trying to do my best to be consistent for everybody and, and, and try to give you videos as much as possible on things where I think is important. That way you can add that to your collective uh, opinion of other, like, people you may watch or listen to because i have my own uh stock uh uh channels that i watch and you know news that i follow and stuff like that all 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 just for the sake of the stock market you know what i mean so we all do it and we all benefit from it and we all help each other ultimately that's the main goal so hope you all like that and enjoy the rest of your day